Google just dropped Titans. This thing handles over 2 million tokens and learns while it runs. They're also testing AI headlines that rewrite news stories. Gemini is growing five times faster than ChatGPT. And a new AI agent called Lux just destroyed every competitor on benchmarks. This changes everything. All right, Google went crazy this week. They dropped multiple updates in just days. And the biggest one is Titans. And this thing fixes a problem that's been killing AI models for years. Here's what happens right now. You give ChatGPT a giant document, maybe it's 100 pages, the model starts strong, then it falls apart, it forgets stuff, it misses details, a Google built Titans to solve this, and it works different from everything else. Titans learns while it's running. Most AI models are frozen, they don't update, they don't adapt, they just process and move on. But Titans updates its memory in real time. It picks what's important based on surprise. If something is unexpected, it saves it. If something is boring, it forgets it. This is huge because it means the model gets smarter as you use it. Google tested three versions, memory as context, memory as gate, memory as layer. The best one handled over 2 million tokens. That's like feeding it 20 full books at once. And it's only 760 million parameters. That's tiny compared to GPT-4. They ran it through the needle in a haystack test. That's where you hide one fact in a massive document and see if the model can find it. Titans hit over 95% accuracy at 16,000 tokens. Then they tested it on Babylon. That's a benchmark where models need to connect facts across huge documents. Titans beat GPT-4. It beat Llama 3 with 70 billion parameters. It even beat Llama 3 when it was paired with retrieval tools. Those are systems designed to help models search through long documents. Titans didn't need any of that. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now, here's why this matters for automation. Imagine you're building a system that processes customer support tickets. Right now, you can only feed the AI a few conversations at once. With Titans, you could feed it every conversation from the past month. It would remember patterns. It would learn what works. It would get better over time. Or let's say you're analyzing content for the AI profit boardroom. You want to know what topics get the most engagement what questions people ask, what problems they're solving. With Titans, you, you could feed it every post, every comment, every thread, and it would pull insights that would take a human weeks to find. Google also introduced something called Mirrors. This isn't a model, it's a framework. It looks at how all AI models handle memory. Transformers, Mamba, RetNet, they all store and retrieve information differently. Mirrors breaks that down into four questions. What shape is the memory? How does the model decide what to store? How fast does new info replace old info? And how does memory get updated over time? With that framework, Google built three new models, Moneta, Yad, and Memora. In ultra-long context tests, some of them beat Mamba 2 and Classic Transformers. This shift is happening fast. And if you want to learn how to automate your business with tools like Titans and other AI systems, join the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. You'll get step-by-step -step training on how to use models like Titans to process massive amounts of data and pull insights that grow your business. Link is in the description. Now let's talk about Lux. This is the wildest part of the whole update. The OpenAGI Foundation just dropped a computer use model that beats everything. And I mean everything. Lux looks at your screen, it reads the UI, then it outputs clicks, scrolls, and key presses. It can operate full desktops, browsers, spreadsheets, editors, even email clients. It's not a chatbot with a plugin. Its infrastructure, they tested it on Mind2Web. That's over 300 real tasks pulled from actual websites. Lux scored 83.6, Gemini scored 69, OpenAI Operator scored 61.3, Claude Sonnet 4 scored 61. The gap is massive, Mind2Web is brutal. Every task depends on visual context, shifting layouts, random UI behaviors, inconsistent design. Lux handles all of it and it does it through three modes. Actor mode handles quick tasks, filling forms, pulling reports, Extracting data, it runs at about one second per step. That's fast for a model processing full screens. Thinker mode handles broad goals. You tell it what you want, it figures out the steps, it breaks down the task on its own. Tasker mode gives you full control. 
You write a Python list of steps, locks, executes them with retries and error handling. If something fails, it adapts. Here's why this is insane for business owners. Right now, if you want to automate something, you need APIs. If the platform doesn't have an API, you're stuck. Locks doesn't need APIs. It just looks at the screen and clicks like a human. So imagine you're managing outreach for the AI Profit Boardroom. You need to pull data from 10 different tools. Some have APIs, some don't. With Lux, you just tell it what to do. It opens the tools, it pulls the data, it organizes everything, no coding, no API docs, just results. The training method is what makes this work. OpenAGI built Lux through agentic active pre-training. The model learns by acting inside digital environments, not by reading text, not by watching logs, by doing the work. The system behind this is called OSGIM. It's open sourced under MIT. It spins up over 1000 operating system replicas at once. It generates around 1400 multi turn trajectories per minute. So Lux gets experience from direct interaction. It learns patterns. It adapts to unfamiliar layouts. It builds intuition for how interfaces behave under pressure. And here's the kicker. Lux is 10 times cheaper per token than OpenAI operator. That changes the economics of automation. You can run long multi-step tasks without your costs exploding. Now let's talk about something lighter, but still important. Google is preparing a new model called Nano Banana 2 Flash. Yes, they're sticking with food names. The pro version was called Ketchup. Now they're testing Mayo. Early tests show Nano Banana 2 Flash performs almost the same as the pro model but it costs way less. This is Google's strategy. They use pro models for premium performance. Then they deploy flash versions for high volume work where cost matters more. If this drops in December, like people expect, Google will push Nano Banana to way more users. Flash models are perfect for high frequency tasks. You can run them all day without your bill going crazy. And since Nano Banana drives a lot of Gemini's engagement right now, a cheaper version is a smart move. Now here's the part that explains why OpenAI just called a code red. Gemini is surging. Sam Altman sent an internal memo telling his team to accelerate development across all product lines. The memo mentioned Gemini's rise and Google's growing momentum. So here's what all of this means. Titans gives us models that learn while they run. Lux gives us agents that can automate anything with a screen. Nano Banana 2 Flash gives us cheaper, high volume image generation. And Gemini is now growing faster than ChatGPT. The AI space is shifting fast. And if you're not keeping up, you're falling behind. The companies that win are the ones that automate early. They use tools like Titans to process massive data. They use agents like Lux to handle repetitive tasks. They use models like Nano Banana to create content at scale. This shift is happening fast. And if you want to learn how to automate your business with tools like Titans and other AI systems, join the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. You'll get step-by-step -step training on how to use models like Titans to process massive amounts of data and pull insights that grow your business. Link is in the description. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.